hello you guys from the Pacific Dunes Ranch and RV Resort. We are in on Pismo Beach, just a couple miles south of San Luis Obispo at the Thousand Trails here. And as you can see here, we have wide open sand dunes. We just arrived, we spent a day driving from the Bay Area down to here in a lot of rain and a lot of wind. The wind is still here, as you can see my hair. You think it's windy here? Yeah! It is really windy here, but we're going to spend a couple days here. Tomorrow we're going to come over here and maybe go sledding down the sand dunes. And on the other side of it is the Pacific Ocean, so we're going to climb over the sand dunes, go explore that. And just relax. We've had a lot of crazy time with family and friends in the Bay Area, but now we're alone again, which means we can get some work done and just relax for a little bit rather than go, go, go that, like we've been the last couple days. So. It's gonna be a fun week. It's gonna get blown away in the wind? Come on. Let's go back home. Run. We're gonna go slide on the sand dunes, but it looks like Star Wars. Doesn't this look like a scene from a Star Wars movie? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go. As I mentioned yesterday in our little intro, it was raining all day yesterday. And so some of the sand here on the sand dunes is already dried up. Then you have patches here like this one that are still a little bit wet, but you have some neat patterns because of the wind and the water that was rolling over the dunes yesterday. It's just kind of interesting to see how things dry at different paces and you get something absolutely unique that you're probably never gonna see again because it changes every single day. How's that hill? So much fun. And look what happens when you go up here. You think? From the campground to the ocean, it's about half a mile walk, but I don't know how far we've gone this far, but we can see it over there. It took me a while to see it because I was so short. Nick was all excited that he could see it. it took me a while, I had to get up really high, but there it is, waves crashing. Crash, crash, crash. <laughs> this is the steepest hill we found and I wanted to bring dog, but she's too tight. So let's do it. Let's go. Oh, I'm starting to... Oh, let's go again! sand formations are so unique from the wind and the rain yesterday. Happy flight time. Cover her eyeball. It's, it's too dry. Come back. Oh no! Daddy left. He jumped off the cliff. 
beach scum. It's pretty entertaining. We made it down to Pismo Beach, which is right on the other side of the sand dunes, but we decided to drive instead of walk since we would have been pretty tired if we walked all the way and then had to walk all the way back. It is still pretty windy here. It's only about 60 degrees today, but considering that it's the end of November, it's actually November 30th today, the water here is actually pretty warm, which is kind of surprising. I mean, we were typically used to being from Minnesota, snow at this time of year, so it's really nice not to have that and have a wonderful beach day. We have actually been here before. We stayed right there in that beach house with a bunch of family members for a family member's wedding in 2010. And while we were here, we did a little photo shoot with Mariah. She was like a year and a half old, chubby and curly little red hair. We did a photo shoot with her on the beach. So we're gonna have to recreate that picture. Jump. No, I'm gonna wait for this to make me fall. <laughs> Again. As I mentioned before, it is a little bit windy and it's not too warm, but Rachel here is freezing. I'm really, really cold. It's so beautiful, but I should have brought another layer. I'm just enjoying a little seat here all huddled up. There are a lot of things to see in the area here, but one of the most interesting attractions is the Monarch Butterfly Grove at the Pismo Beach State Park. We're walking around taking a look at some of the butterflies, but unfortunately the population that's here hibernating for the winter is a lot lower than it's been in it's the past. It's really low. There are only about 3,500 this year, and that's what, four times fewer than they had just last year. So that's a huge difference in one year's time. Yeah, and the year before that, there were, so last year there was 12,000, the year before that there was 24,000. Uh, so there's only a couple little clusters here that we can see, uh, but they have some nice binoculars and telescopes set up so they can see them up close. So the monarch butterflies in the spring and summer, they live six weeks. But when they come here, they live six months. That's a lot longer, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We're huddling up like the butterflies <laughs> and staying warm because it's kind of chilly here. <laughs> We're butterflies. Did you, did you take a video of me? I never take videos of you. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Your girls doing a butterfly wait, dance to stay wait, warm? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> Jump in the water? Yeah! I think those people are crazy.
really feels like winter. Do you have your gloves on too? Yeah. Gloves, a hat, winter coat. <laughs> it's not beach weather anymore, is it? Yeah, and people are even surfing and walking and I don't think I can do that today. I'm a little bit cold. It is quite chilly out here. It actually feels like winter finally. It does. It feels like Christmas. It feels like December. <laughs> but we are on the beach, but that's going to do it for us here from Pismo Beach area. We're going to be in California for a little bit longer. It's actually through through Christmas. Mm -hmm. So we still but got some time in the area. Going further south to warm up. <laughs> because it is warmer down there, down to the, uh, going down the beach a little bit for about a week and then to the San Diego area for Christmas. But there's Christmas music in the background, there are Christmas lights behind us on the streets. It's really pretty. Highly recommend you come down here. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you freeze. Thanks guys, and we'll see you on the road.